Blue host versus host gator. Host gator versus blue host. So what is going on guys? Welcome to my review video or more or less a comparison video. So today we're going to be comparing both blue host and host gator with one another to see which one is actually going to be the more superior web hosting solution for you. So with that being said, let's begin today's video. All right, so as you can see on screen right here, we have Bluehost right here, and this is an Australian currency, by the way, so just keep that in mind because whatever you offer at the world is going to be in your own currency, so you can click the top link down below to check out the Bluehost um, pricing as well as the host getter pricing as well. Just click the top links down below. But um, yeah, guys, let's actually start today's comparison video between Bluehost and HostGator right here. So the first thing to mention right here is the fact that only one of these web hosting companies are actually recommended by WordPress themselves, okay? And Bluehost right here, so if we go to WordPress.com, Logs recommend the web hosting solutions. Bluehost is right here, is at the top. Um, HostGator, unfortunately, is not on this list right here. So, SiteGround is, DreamHost is, Bluehost is, of course, powering over 2 million websites. Bluehost offers the ultimate WordPress platform with one click installation, which is absolutely amazing, and a free domain name. So, unfortunately, HostGator is not recommended by WordPress.org, you know, in regards to like WordPress's like recommend the web hosting. And Bluehost right here is, right? Um, as you can see right here, you know, HostGator also offers, you know, a free domain for one year, just like Bluehost does. So both companies, you know, HostGator and Bluehost actually offer that. So let's actually check out the different plans that both of these companies actually have. So if we click on Get Started right here for Bluehost, and if we go over here for HostGator right here and click on Get Started, we can see the different type of plans that we actually have for each of these companies. So um, right here, you know, the basic plan right here allows you to have one website for Bluehost right here. Um, if we go over here to the hashing plan, which is going to be um, for HostGator, they also allow you to have one single domain for the, you know, first plan right here. So you can basically get, you know, a single domain bandwidth, free SSL certification, and a free domain included, which is awesome. And you also get a free domain with um, Bluehost right here as well for the first year, 50 gigs of storage, uh, free SSL certification, standard performance, domain included, five park domain, 25 subdomains, right? Click on this information icon right here you can gather more information regarding HostGator, which is pretty cool. Um, if we go over here, you know, HostGator also has the baby plan right here, which is just a little bit more expensive. And this allows you to get unlimited domains, one-click installs, um, bandwidths, SSL certification, and a free domain. So basically, you get unlimited domains with this plan right here, instead of having like only one single domain with this plan right here. And if we go to Bluehost right here, I have the plus plan and the choice plan all for the same price. And basically, you get unlimited websites with both of these plans right here as well. You get storage, you get basically all the stuff that you got with the previous plan right here, except you basically get unlimited to everything and you also get spam experts with um, both of these plans right here and you also get the Microsoft Office um, bonus right here. They give you code guard basic right here and domain privacy which is extremely important as well if you're getting a domain name for yourself okay. Now with um, HostGator right here their business plan which they recommend to their customers you know um, you get unlimited domains, so you pretty much get everything you get with this plan right here, except right here that you actually get a free upgrade to a positive SSL certificate, which is important. You get free SEO tools and a free domain included, obviously, as well. So if you're running a business, this host getter plan right here is going to be more ideal for you. Now, if we go back to Bluehost right here, you know, their pro plan right here, you know, they offer, you know, the same stuff pretty much as this plan right here, except you get two spam experts instead of one for this plan, and you get the dedicated IP, which is basically the difference between the pro plan and the the choice plus plan right here so those are the plans for both bluehost and hostgator right here and if we scroll down below you can see all the plans include all this essential stuff right here advanced plan add-ons what is shared hosting so if we scroll down below you can actually get more information regarding bluehost and their frequently asked questions like the faq what is shared hosting click the top link down below to check out this page right here and to gather more information regarding you know the faq and you can obviously scroll down below um, for HostGator as well and you can basically you know gather more information regarding what you'll be getting with each individual plan instead of HostGator as well. So now that we've covered like you know the plans right here I want to go over the dashboards and actually compare both the dashboards inside of um, HostGator and Bluehost. So let's actually compare the dashboards like in the members area like right now for both of these web hosting companies. All right, so as you can see, we are inside of the Bluehost dashboard right here. So as you can see, I'm actually using Bluehost right here. So obviously, you can see a list of all your websites right here. Um, that's going to be like, you know, the dashboard right here. Go over here to view your website and to access WordPress. And again, Bluehost is very compatible with WordPress. It's a one-click installation. I think it's just pretty much automated at this point. So obviously, you can basically, you know, go through the launch checklist right here for your first website. You can go to my sites and see your full website list. You can go to Marketplace and buy things. So this is, again, like, you know, what you can actually do inside of the Bluehost dashboard. So yeah guys, that's pretty much a brief overview of the dashboard inside of Bluehost. And again, you can pretty much, you know, go at 
the top right here click on view my site and you go and you know you go through WordPress to add your website using Bluehost as your hosting provider so that's pretty much you know a inside look of what the Bluehost dashboard looks like and what you can actually expect you know it's pretty awesome so yeah Alright, so as you can see on screen right here, um, during our HostGator review video, this is going to be the dashboard inside of HostGator because it really wouldn't be a review video of HostGator if we didn't actually show you what to expect inside, right? So obviously when you sign up for your HostGator account and get, you know, hosting with HostGator, this is going to be your account right here. So as you can see right here in the top left, this is your dashboard right here. This is going to be your hosting um, area right there. You can obviously check out the marketplace. Um, you can see all your domains and you can manage your billing right here as well. And, you know, if you have any questions or concerns, you can go to support right here. And yeah, get the help that you deserve. All right, so um, as you can see right here, this is actually, you know, the new customer portal inside of HostGator because I believe HostGator actually used to look completely different. In fact, it actually did. So HostGator has actually made a bit of an update with their, you know, dashboard and their backend. So it's obviously, as you can see right here, you can, you know, um, manage your, you know, SSL management right here, your code guard backup. As you can see on screen right here, you can manage all these different things right here. Um, but the probably like the main things you guys are probably going to want to do inside of HostGator once you get, you know, your HostGator um, hosting right here is go over here to launch your cPanel so you can actually like check out the cPanel and do all that type of stuff and obviously install WordPress right here which is probably going to be you know most the most important thing actually is to like you know install WordPress and get HostGator all set up so you can host your website and obviously you can check out your databases your email accounts your webmail and all that type of stuff and obviously here's some quick links to like manage your domains um, you know make a payment all that type of stuff so yeah um, that's just want to give you a quick overview of what to expect inside of HostGator in regards to the dashboard all right so pretty cool right we got to have a bit of a first-hand look of the members area for both Bluehost and HostGator, which is absolutely insane. So now that we've covered that, I want to kind of go through the process of what you'll be going through if you decide to get either, you know, um, HostGator for yourself or Bluehost. And let's go ahead and just do that right now. So I'm going to select the hashing plan right here and I'm going to select the basic plan right here and just show you like what process is going to be going through when you sign up for either one of these companies right here. So with Bluehost, you just, you know, create a new domain right here if you want to get your free domain. Um, and you want to make sure that you you know choose a .com domain ideally, or if you just want to choose a .net or .biz, you can choose that right here as well. Or if you have your own domain name, you can just you know choose to connect that right here as well instead. Or if you go over here to HostGator, you can register a new domain right here, or you can basically connect your old domain name here as well, just like you can with Bluehost right here. And you can choose which plan you want to go with. Um, you know the billing cycle. Um, one month, three months, you know, obviously if you basically, you know, subscribe to a longer period of time, you basically get the discount. Um, if we go to hashing plan, you can choose baby, business, whatever plan you want, your username, you can basically put in your information right here and you can probably ignore most of these services right here unless you really want one. So those are some add-ons right here. So um, if we go over here to Bluehost, we can put in a domain name here for an example. So we can just put in like a random domain name just for example purposes for this video. Obviously you want to put in your proper domain name, not just random letters, but I just want to show you like, you know, um, the process of actually going ahead and, you know, setting this up for Bluehost as well, not just like HostGator, right? So obviously it's the same thing. You're putting like your account information, your package information right here. So you can basically choose that right here. And you know, the package extras, which again is up to you. You probably don't even need like half these things except for like domain privacy and protection, which just protects your information. So no one can like search up your personal information in the Huawei's database. You can click on here for more information once you go through that yourself. And then basically you can just like, you know, put in the information and confirm the transaction. And the same thing goes with HostGator right here as well. In my opinion, Bluehost's uptime is a lot more reliable and a lot more better than HostGator's uptime. They're just a lot more faster in general. But with that being said, to conclude today's video on whether or not, you know, Bluehost or HostGator is going to be better, like which one I would choose. Personally, in my opinion, I would choose Bluehost. And again, HostGator is an amazing company. Not really that bad at all. In fact, they're actually pretty good. But I'm just saying if I had to like, you know, make a choice between HostGator or Bluehost, it would have to be... Bluehost and obviously you know the fact that WordPress.org actually recommend Bluehost themselves the fact that HostGator isn't obviously here tells me a lot and you know obviously just makes it a lot more easier for me just to like choose Bluehost over HostGator but you know in general it's up to you and Bluehost is going to be the web hosting company I would personally choose if I was in your position right now making a choice. 
And again, you know, I'm going to be leaving links down below to both Bluehost and HostGator right here. So click the links down below and you can get discounts for both, you know, HostGator and Bluehost right here. And you can also get started with your chosen web hosting company that you want to go with um, right now if you want. And you can also check out the website for more information if you want to do that as well. But um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching today's Bluehost versus HostGator review video or comparison video in this case. Um, if you have any questions, just comment down below. And if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. Um, that would be much appreciated. And again, I'll leave links down below to both Bluehost and host skater as well and yeah guys thanks for watching today's video on bluehost versus host skater